Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomite TV and I've got here some totally bogus, fake, rip-off Guardians of the Galaxy Lego toys. So stand by for a bootleg toy review. Of course, Guardians of the Galaxy was the big Marvel movie last Christmas, right? And a great movie and, and Hasbro does the toys for them. And Lego does have official minifigures. You know, and I've been seeing previews. They're going to put the cartoon out on Disney HD. Have you seen those? It's supposed to be a special on Monday. And the previews look pretty good. But, you know, Lego does do official uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy toys. But there's nothing official about these. These are totally, totally fake. Let's get a good look at the boxes. So here's a look at the box. Uh, it's Star-Lord, right? Star-Lord, the hero. And uh, there's such a ripoff, guys. See, it? this logo looks like Lego, doesn't it? It looks a lot like Lego, but it's L-E-B-Q. <laughs> L-E-B-Q, I can't even pronounce that. There's such a ripoff, people. And then on the side, you get a little graphic showing all the characters. And it says superheroes. See, Marvel superheroes. They're ripping off Marvel superhero series. Uh, that That's Lego. The actual Lego re releases there. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy toys uh, on that. And then there's a little tagline that says, Maintain world peace. Fight for justice. But rip off Lego. And then they even have this kind of a fakey uh, Marvel ripoff of the Marvel design when they show the heroes. right? And on the bottom, they've got your typical <coughs> safety seals for Europe. <coughs> and it says, Made in China. Why do I always have to cough when I say China? All right, and in the back, and that's funny here in the back, they're showing the piece, and then, and then, and they, and they got to give you a card and some instructions. Oh, I'm glad. And then it says, fittings of a machine. All oh, those silly Chinese fittings of a machine. I think the words they're looking for would be perhaps accessory parts, accessory pieces, something like that. I should get a job working for those guys. Uh, here's Drax the Destroyer. <clears throat> His photo is a little dark. And uh, in the back. And then uh, they're going to give you uh, Gamora, right? <clears throat> the green lady. You know, she was a blue lady in uh, Avatar. And that's coming, I guess, next year, the next Avatar, right? And in Star Trek, uh, she was in Star Trek also. And then uh, Rowan and the Accuser. Nobody likes an accuser. Oh, oh, you stole my pencils. I'm telling the teacher. Nobody likes an accuser. Ronan the Accuser, you're such a pain in the butt. And then uh, they got a Nebula. <clears throat> I haven't seen a toy for Nebula anyway, but she's the blue lady that was hanging out with Ronan, right? In the movie, I think. And it, but she was friends with Gr Gamora. She was kind of a pal with Gamora. I think they were, I don't know, sisters? I forget, there's so many characters. And then finally, everyone's favorite, Rocket Raccoon with his big gun, which is very cool. And also, in the pack, I was forced to buy an extra Ronan. I guess it's the series they made, and I dropped one. I got an extra Ronan, and I got an extra Gamora. We'll see if they have uh, different cards. All right, you ready to open these up? Let's go. Okay, so I'm opening this uh, Star-Lord box, totally live, right on camera. You'll see it when I see it. Oh, look, there's a card. It's a Rocket Raccoon card in, in the box for Star-Lord. Rocket Raccoon, and it's got some details, I guess, how to strengthen this stuff. Let's look at that later. And then, oh, here's all the, all the pieces, parts, the fittings of the machine. <laughs> all right, let's get them, uh, let's get them put together. Okay, we're gonna start with Star Lord since I opened that box first, right? And uh, I showed you I got a card for Rocket Raccoon, but I also uh, I looked in the box further and. In the bottom, it's it got bit, but there is a card for Star Lord. Yeah, I'll take a, a picture of each of these cards and show that later. All right, and here's Star Lord put together. First, I want to show you. Can you see his base? Right, his little base there. Right, you see what's written on there. It says, what does it say? It says World Minifigures. That's the ripoff company. Okay, and it's not like you. It's World Minifigures, and it says collect them all. Herd series. It's the Herd series. I guess it's not Hero series. You know. <laughs> and then on the below that, Le Bao Quan. Le Bao Quan, of course. What does that mean? I have no idea. Le Bao Quan almost sounds Vietnamese, but it doesn't have those accents. 
If you guys have any idea what La Bao Quan means, it doesn't work to translate much except I think it, it translates suggests it might mean the best or the first or something like that if it was Chinese. Yeah, I don't know. But, you know, actually, these guys, these ripoff guys, kind of do a, a, not a bad job. There's a lot of roughness. Like, he's got his two pistols, right, and one of them keeps popping out of his hand there. And there's a lot of rough spots. They gave him these little jets, like he's supposed to be, you know, because he does have those little tiny jets, so, he, like, he could fly. But you can see there's a lot of rough spots on the plastic, leftover rough spots. Rough spots. So, but... It, you know, his helmet's not bad. That little face mask helmet deal that he's got. And, of course, these decals are decals. They're not hand-painted. They're decals that they put on him uh, to show his little armor. And he's got his little little details even on his on his jacket and stuff. And you can take his helmet off and see his face. Let, let, let's try that. So I just do it live for you here. But it's going to take a while because here I'll show you what happens when you take his helmet off. Uh... Well, his, his head goes off, too, see? And there goes the gun. So I need to use, his head comes out, see, it's stuck in there. So I need to use my tweezers to get his head out. It really must be painful, but I want you to see his head. All right, there's his head. And he's even got his little beard. I almost said something, but I didn't. <laughs> this would not be a G-rated show. Uh, there, okay. <laughs> he's got that little scruffy beard, right, that he's got. But, yeah, actually, they give you extra hair for him, see? So, there, there is his hair. Yeah, so, yeah, so you get the, well, you don't get, you don't get the two-sided head, like, like the smiley face and the frowny face. You don't get that. You just get one, uh, expression. <laughs> uh, was that, uh, Chris Pratt, right? Okay, let's look at the next one. Rocket Raccoon. Wow. Big head. Look at that head he's got. And they gave him a big old gun like he does. He always puts together those custom guns in the movie, right? And then look at his big old fluffy tail. He doesn't like you to make fun of him and call him a rodent or whatever. But uh, <laughs> that's a, oh, it's a, it does look okay, yeah. It's interesting, and, and they, they made a nice little gut for him. Rocket Raccoon. Here's Nebula, and she just gets one face. She gets a couple of swords, and then she gets one blue arm. Well, she is blue, but then she gets one purple. But is that like in the movie? Did she have her uniform was like covered one arm and then not the other? I, yeah, I don't know. Like, see, her body looks like it's purple, but her head is blue. So I, I thought she was all blue in the movie. Uh, you know, I'm going to try to get the real photos. Maybe I'll show them next to each other. And by the way, Nebula doesn't have any hair. Was she bald in the movie? I forget. I'll have to, I'll have to look at her photo from the movie. Here's Gamora. And, you know, I didn't mention, but Nebula and her, they've all got these little jet exhaust things. All of them get those. They get some big ones, and they get a couple of small ones as well, like their blasters or something. But we know from the movie they don't all fly. They have to jump and stuff. Gamora's just got one. She's kind of a pissed off looking look. So it's not a, a good time to ask her for a date. And honestly, uh, personally, I, I don't like to date girls who have swords. So there you go. You know, and But the hair is pretty big. And it, it covers her back and it covers part of the front of her face too. It's, it's, yeah, it's a nice look for her. I wouldn't cr criticize her to her face. Not with those swords. And here's Drax the Destroyer. Yeah, he doesn't get hair because, right, he's bald. And uh, he's got all those tattoos on his chest and back. But, uh, kids, you know the rules, right? You, you're not allowed to get tattoos yourself until you finish college and you have your first job. And then you can do whatever silly stuff you want to yourself. Uh, and he's got his two knives and some details on his trousers. Huh, Drax. And Ronan the Accuser also gets the jets, although he doesn't really fly. He's got that big old hammer thing. It's kind of crudely fashioned. They didn't give him an Infinity, infinity Stone. See what I was saying about the, the finish on the plastics kind of crude. See, he's got these leftover things. You don't get that with the real Legos, right? They did give him a cape. Uh, it goes, I figured it goes on best if you put it underneath his head. 
on his neck. And then they give him that big old helmet, which is silly because you can't find anybody sneaking up behind you or from the side even. You can always see people attacking you like from straight on. Yeah. But I guess it's it's Marvel Universe. That's what they do. They gave him the X, the X deals on on his front, and it's on his. Of course, the cape covers his back here. Let me lift his cape up. But don't tug on Superman's cape, right? You know that. Don't do that. But uh, yeah, see, he gets the X deal on his back. He's not Superman, so we can tug on his cape. But I wouldn't want to piss him off with that big old hammer he's got. Okay, let's look at these closer. at the Guardians many figures, uh, the bogus ones, and he you know we got a bunch more stuff to talk about, so hit that subscribe button, and until next time, have a great day. No one I know is how to kill me, I guess I'm doing okay. I'm lost, I'm lost among the millions.